بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس ان دا پاس سیشنز وی بین ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی ڈفرنٹ اسکولز اف تھاٹ دی ڈفرنٹ فریم ورکس دی ڈفرنٹ میکانیزمز دی ڈفرنٹ رولز پلیڈ بائی ڈفرنٹ اسٹیک ہولڈرز انٹرنل اسٹیک ہولڈرز ایکسٹرنل اسٹیک ہولڈرز بورڈ اف ڈائریکٹرز دی انٹرنل آڈیٹر دی آڈیٹر اٹ سیلف اینڈ آڈیٹنگ دی رول اف دی چیف ایگزیکٹو آفیسر دی دی ڈائریکٹرز اف دی بورڈ اف بی او ڈی all of these different things have been talked about and it's all been about corporate governance how can we manage the organization in a better way how is there going to be integrity transparency anti corruption and accountability how can we optimize our profits our resources uh, our working our services our products without compromising upon laid down principles of good governance and corporate governance Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about a totally different topic, and that is corporate scams. That despite all of these different regulations, different laws, different institutions, different stakeholders, primary, secondary, tertiary level of management, coupled with the strategic board of directors, but yet there are so many scams at a national and international level. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Uh, when we are talking about corporate scams, this is something which is quite common, unfortunately, in Pakistan. We have seen that the large business houses have had absolute, omnipotent access to exploitation, manipulation, and also encroachment on personal rights. However, with the passage of time, the promulgation of different laws in the context of labor laws, employee laws, in the context of corporate governance, integrity and anti-corruption laws, and much, much more, things have improved. But despite all of that improvement, we still have a lot of scams. So where there is a plethora of rules, regulations and principles, on the other hand, we see that there are corporate scams. Now, when we're talking about corporate scams, it usually means that whenever a corporate code has been wavered, has been distinguished, has been compromised, manipulated, exploited, then we see that corporate scams tend to unfold. Many corporate scams are hidden from the normal working. They take place and people don't find out. Management does not find out. In certain cases, scams do take place and the management itself to save the reputation of the company would cover up that scam up. And then there are some scams which are so large that they come on the corporate scene. So today we're going to talk about some of those corporate scams. Now, When we look at corporate scams, there was a very famous corporate scam of Omni Group uh, in which uh, basically billions of rupees were siphoned off in, in the context of two fake or what we call dummy companies. And employees with only 20,000 salary were drawing loans and incurring markup to the tune of over 1 billion rupees. Something totally unbelievable. But it had been going on and it was going on until the State Bank of Pakistan and the National Accountability Bureau started actively investigating the details and the FBR Zone 3 Karachi filed a Banami reference against the alleged firms. Now all of this is happening and we see that different corporations tend to do different things. We, we also have the banker's equity scam in which a uh, 110 million loan was shown as 1.4 billion. And the rest of the proceeds were used for equity injection. It was a simple bank fraud because uh, two credit concerns, which were non-existent, opened up on 2nd May 2016. And they were actually incorporated on 4th of July 2016. So again, the formalities were not even met. The prereqs were window dressed and scattered. The bank record is completely silent about any assessment of the, doctors, of the director's financial worth. And therefore, the Sindh Bank then gave recommendations and suggestions for the involvement of the Summit Bank. 
So we have a 70 crore outstanding markup, not paid since September 2017, and another 140 million plus unpaid service charges are outstanding. There have been other scams also observed in the country. Taj Company was uh, a very important scam. We see that in the Taj Company, that even though it was a publishing house for the Holy Quran, but yes, thousands and thousands of investors were deprived of their hard earned sweat determination money and it just evaporated in the air. A company which is devoted to the publication of the Holy Quran swindled crores and crores of rupees of honest investors. Before that we can recall the BCCI scandal and this was an international scandal about money laundering about shifting of funds for illegal entities and that also one day just suddenly closed. Eden Housing, 11,000 people aggrieved since many, many years not getting their plots. What is this? These are all scams. On international level, we see many more of them. The most famous being the Enron case, $53 billion. $53 billion vanquished. We see, we see other corporations and organizations falling apart because they did not do right audits and this basically tends to reinforce the importance of audits. And those organizations basically played around with their records whereby these scams and these scandals took place. So ladies and gentlemen, we can talk about scam upon scam. But the important thing is to find concrete solutions and meticulous, unbiased, non-discriminated accountability mechanisms to apprehend the plaintiffs, to apprehend those people who are committing these frauds and ensure that they get exemplary punishment and go to jail with the, with the acquisition of all their assets sold for the betterment of those stakeholders who were adversely affected. So as a nation and as a community at large, it is necessary to curtail these corporate scams and practice good governance to the very hilt of existence. Thank you so much.